Hey everybody, this is Mark Lowry. I'm sitting here on the Immaculate Contraption headed home. And by the way, I've sold the RV. Remember how I had that RV that I named the Holy Roller? Well, the RV has been sold to my good friends, uh, Frida and Big Eddie Gall. And they're coming to pick it up this afternoon. I'm, I'm on the bus coming home from the Gaither tour, the Christmas tour. And what a fun, fun tour it was. If you've ever seen the Gaither Christmas tour, then you know how, what a good Christmas show it is. It really is a good one. And uh, I was sitting here on the bus thinking that about the new year coming up, 2018. Can you believe that? 2018 is already here upon us. I remember Y2K. Remember Y2K when everybody's worried the world was gonna blow up and electricity was gonna go off? I remember that night we were in Charlotte, North Carolina <clears throat> for New Year's Eve. I think it was either Charlotte or Atlanta, I can't remember. Gaither used to do an event called Jubilate every New Year's Eve. Well, it was Y2K. And uh, I know my brother, my brother had stocked up on food and guns because he's getting ready for Y2K and I kept telling him you know not to worry about it you know of course I was right of course you know like Bill Gaither's dad said uh, Bill Gaither came home from church one time and said daddy they said the Lord's coming back real soon and the world's coming to an end and his dad said well they've been saying that a long time and one of these days they're gonna be right but right now I gotta plow this yard plow this uh, this field <laughs> he was out working in the yard anyway um, gosh I ran down a rabbit trail and forgot what oh so I was sitting here on the bus thinking about 2018 and I think I'm gonna try something I don't know if I'll make it and don't judge me if I don't uh, a, a year of gratitude every day find something even something insignificant to be thankful for because I was just sitting on this bus and this is not insignificant I'm so thankful for this bus the older I get I'm, I, I never had a bus for many 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 years and um, and then when I get into my late 50s or mid 50s I decide you know if I won't keep this up I sure would like to be comfortable I guess that's not really a Christian thing to ask for, is it? Jesus wasn't very comfortable going to that cross for me. Ugh. Anyway, I'm thankful for my bus. I am. I don't know if I should be. I mean, I should be. I don't know if it is it's kind of a big thing, a gaudy thing to be thankful for. And I am thankful for it because it's so comfortable. Anyway, I want to try that. A year of gratitude. I mean, it could be something insignificant like candy corn or Snickers or the fact that you, uh, you know, are healthy. That's a great thing to be thankful for. So it can be significant or insignificant. You want to try this together? Why don't we try every day for 2018 being thankful for something? And I'm going to get on here and do video reminders to remind us that this is the year of gratitude. You ready? All right, it starts January 1. You can start today. This is December 10th, I think. Not real sure. I haven't looked at my watch. This is Sunday, I know that, because I watch my church. On. If you ever can't go to church, go to my church. It's grace.1. www.grace.1. Every Sunday morning. And uh, this is Sunday, December 10th. I was right. So, I am grateful today for, for my bus. I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for a lot of things. I'm grateful that I'm 59 and people still come see me perform, which I'm so grateful for. I'm grateful for uh, the people that work with me. Bob Sauer, Q Phillips. Um, Stan Whitmire's worked with me all for so many years. Anyway, I'm just, I'm grateful this morning. I hope you are too. So 2018 will be our year of gratitude. We'll see how far I get. I'll be grateful every day. I may not make a video every day, but we'll see.